you another strategy on how you can design a modern WordPress website using the free access to Blonde AI and ChatGPT 5. So we will try both. We will try the free access of ChatGPT 5 as well as the free access of the Sonnet 4. So this is the prompt that you're going to use. Now, as we know, we have this custom prompt right here that I always provide you to create a beautiful blonde theme. We will add something before we paste this. So what you need to do is grab a copy of this and paste this to a blank notepad. Now here in the notepad, as you can see right here, we will have this extra prompt that will say, instead of a traditional cards layout, can you have more modern layout approach for the below prompt and proceed with the creation? So in that way, because as you know, we have mentioned in this custom prompt to create cards layout to display the post. So instead of card layout, we will ask to suggest as ChatGPT or Sonnet 4 to suggest something else, something more modern for 2025 WordPress design. So let's go ahead and copy all of this. So as you can see here, we remove the folder name because we won't need to have it stored in a folder because we're not gonna vibe code it using VS Code. So we will just directly type this in a chat platform in the browser. So we remove the folder name and we also remove the instruction here to create the folder. So we will have the ghost month amulet as our main mesh right here. So later when we add blank post, it will all be related to ghost man amulet. So first let's go ahead and type this in Sonnet 4. So I'm just going to copy this and here in your cloud, make sure if you are using the free plan, you haven't used it for the day. So you have the full limit of the allowed limitation you can use on a free plan. So just paste it right there. And now let's run this. I will also going to paste the same prompt here in the free plan of chat GPE. So we will run both teams and compare which one will be better. So let's run both in a free plan. I'm going to paste the same prompt right here. And now let's run this. So while we are waiting for those two teams to be completed, I just type here in Google search ghost month amulet to gather some people ask questions that we can convert as articles. So we're going to have these two right here. I'm just going to copy them and I'll just generate bulk articles right here to make my job easier. You can use something else. I'm just using Article AI Generator for the purpose of making the articles quicker than usual. And if you're actually using this in your website, you can simply put up to 50 article title per batch. This is going to save your time. Now, let me go ahead and just generate these two for now so I can create this in the post section so we can see how it's going to look like in the team that we are creating. Now, I'm just going to leave everything as is. And here, I'm just gonna generate the image so we will see how it's gonna display the image as well so let's go ahead and generate this now as you can see claude completed our request right here so there will be times that you will see a continue button that's okay you can click on continue and even though it says this conversation has reached its maximum length that's fine you can just easily click continue and claude will complete your team request as you can see right here it completed all the related the required files to activate our WordPress theme. So what we're going to do, we have to create this manually. So we start with style.css. So what we will set up is a local WordPress. So here you can download this local WP so that you can create local WordPress running in your computer. So let me create one. So let me create a new site. This one is Ghost Month Amulet. Continue. All right. Once your WordPress is installed, make sure to toggle this one click admin so you can easily go to the dashboard just by clicking this WP admin and we will go to VS Code. And from here, we're going to create our team inside the team folder that we created using Sonnet 4. So let's start with Sonnet 4. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'll name it at Sonnet 4 Amulet. All right. That's our team. And here we will create all our required files. So first is the style.css. So I'm just going to copy everything just like that. And here, right click and create new file. So say style.css and we can simply paste that right there and save it. So that's how simple you can create the files. So when you have the continue button, you will see two version of the file. So say here functions the PHP and it didn't complete the file, but there will be version two. So just always copy the version two if there is. So let me proceed now to the functions the PHP, the same thing. I'm just going to copy this and create the file functions that PHP and paste that right there. So I'm just going to continue that for the rest of the files here and let's activate. And later we will test the chat GPT version as well. That's done. So as you can see, I created all the files right here. So just double check if you have all the files, otherwise your team won't get activated. Now let's click this WP admin and let's head over to Appy Runs, then go to Teams. So as you can see, that's our team that we created using Sonnet 4. Let's activate it now. Let's go ahead and check how it looks like. 
All right, so as you can see, because we didn't request for card layout, so it's got different style right here. So you will see right here, there could be some issues which you can again ask Cloud to fix, but the way it appears, tick, it's okay. So you can have your articles right here. You can click to view all, view the article, and this is the article section. So let me just quickly add an article so that we can see exactly how it's gonna look like once we have the actual article. So here it completed our article request. So let me add a first one. So this is what are the lucky charms for uh, Ghost Month? So we're going to copy this and create new one. We have another version, which is the ChatGPT one. So we'll check that. And here, save this as your featured image and set that as your featured image right here. And then copy the content. Here, we're going to copy the content. When you're copying the content and it has featured image, so you just remove it because it's going to copy the image as well. And now let's save this. Let's view the post. All right, so this is how it's going to look like. So it's pretty decent. All right. So this is how your article will look like. You have the previous article right here and you have the next article. So it looks okay. Although I can see there's some JavaScript issue which we can fix later. Now let's go ahead and check the ChatGPT5 version. So when you use the ChatGPT3 plan, it's not able to complete our requests. You can see here you've reached your data analysis limit and it did not complete our requests right here. So what you can do, you can use the copilot right here. So just head over to copilot.microsoft.com slash chats. And here you can access the smart GPT-5. So this is where you're going to enter the custom prompt. And we did that. So it completed our custom prompt right here. So we're going to test if this looks better compared to the one we have in Sonnet 4. So let me create a new team folder. So here in the VS Code, I'm just going to create a new team. Let's name the folder as GPT-5 Amulet. All right, so first create the style that CSS. So the UI here is much better because it completed just in one go. We don't need to click continue button. It's better if you have the Claude AI class, if you are subscribed because you can complete the entire team without any issue, without any limit. And it produces better team from what I observed. So first we're gonna copy this and paste it to style.css. So this is going to be the ChatGPT version. I'm just going to name the prompt right there, ChatGPT5. All right, because I just copied exactly the prompt. So we just complete all the files, just like what we did in Cloud version. So this one is file the PHP. So let me create that. So I completed the file. So as you can see right here, these are all the files we need to activate our WordPress. Now let's head over again to the WordPress dashboard and let's check the ChatGPT5 version. We do the themes. So you will see right here, that's our ChatGPT5 version. Let's activate it and let's view it correct. So you check which one is looking better. So this is the ChatGPT version and we have the latest post right here. Let's have a look. So what it's gonna look like when you view the single post. We have the previous post right there. Let me add a second article because I want to see the, with multiple articles. So let's, let me quickly add this. What is the gemstone for ghost man? Let me add this. All right, so we added the article. Let's publish it and view this. So this is the second article. So we have all the latest posts right there. And we have the previous article. So scroll down right here. We have the next and the previous article. So let's view the home page. So this is the explore the latest post button. And we have the latest post right here. So that's how you can change the appearance of your team instead of the traditional card layout. Although it will have a better result if you can have the plus version or premium version of the Claude AI because I think Claude always produce a better team right here. It's just that we had some issue in JavaScript, I think. So that's why, again, let me check. So that's why it's not in full screen right here. But as you can see, there's potential here to be in really good shape. So we have the latest articles right here. And when we check this, so I think this looks much better in my opinion. And you scroll down, we have the previews and the next post and I think uh, that's about it. So you can always ask ChatGPT5 or Claude what will be the modern layout for 2025 of the WordPress themes. And you can apply that to the custom prompt that we have right here. So you can ask instead of using the traditional card layout, use this type of layout. I think uh, that's about it. So if you have some questions and if you want to comment, let me know what you think and see you on the next one.